Good morning, super cool party people. I look super pale. What if I change? No, worse. I don't know. It's just not working this morning. Anyways, welcome back to the vlog. It is currently a time 20 to 11. <laughs> I woke up at like 6.30ish um, cause I had to pee and then I could hear my mom's boyfriend outside cause I had my window open a crack and I was like, rude, I'm trying to sleep cause he was just getting off work. Turns out he, he took my mom's car last night and his set of keys for my mom's car doesn't have a house key on so he locked himself out. He texted me but I, like the psycho I am, keep my phone on do not disturb at night because I want to get some sleep. Um, and so he, he texted my mom. She, he had to call her because it just was not, nobody was answering. So he got in, which is nice. Um, <laughs> but then... I went back to sleep because I was gonna, I was like, okay, I'm gonna pee, but I guess like he got in and I went right into the shower and I was like, rude. <laughs> and so I went back to sleep. I woke up like a couple hours later, I was like, it's time. <laughs> and then I like stayed in bed until, or I stayed asleep till like 9, 9.30. I just wasn't, just didn't want to start the day today, but I have started the day now. I am dressed. I'm in like, this blind channel shirt is probably the most comfortable blind channel shirt I've ever had. It's long sleeve and it's like a sweater, but not thick like a sweater. I don't know. It's not quite a shirt. I love it. The first time I tried it on and then I think that night, like I put on sweats, I'm like, this is my new COVID quarantine outfit. And so, yes, I do have sweats on. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. I am just about to have my breakfast drink, which is like super late for it, but I figure it's good to get those good nutrients and minerals in my body to start the day. And then my mom and I are gonna go out and grocery shop for my grandma here shortly, because now that numbers are going up, one of her friends who they would go out together occasionally uh, just has sh shrunk her bubble because she's severely immunocompromised. And also my grandma just does not want to leave the house, which understandable. So my mom and I are gonna go do groceries for her. And then today, oh, and we're also gonna go to Fabricland because I need to get thread to match the scrunchie so I can finish it. So I should bring one of those. Um, so that's the plan is to finish those today and then also work on my embroidery that I started yesterday. I love it so much. But yeah, so that's where we're at. I'm gonna maybe do my hair because I slept in it like this and uh, go from there. <laughs> Hello, it is me and I am back from running the errands. We got my grandma all her groceries. We had to go to Fabricland because I need a thread to finish those scrunchies. So I picked up that one and then I also picked up a couple colors that will hopefully match some of the fabric that I got yesterday. I just took pictures of it. So I'm just looking, looks pretty good. Yeah, I think it'll work. So that's good. And then I bought, thread's about to roll off the table. I bought some more bias tape for the oven uh, pot holders that the second set that I'm gonna make that I haven't even made the first. I might make this one first though because then less pressure. And then obviously I got some fat quarters because like, who am I? I go to a fabric store, I had to buy something. So we got this one with seagulls on it. It was funny cause it was in the store and I grabbed it. I was like, oh my God, mine, mine, mine. And this lady's like, does it have seagulls on it? <laughs> I got this one with bees. So cute. I've wanted to get this fabric for a while, but I've just haven't bothered to like get it cut. They have it there, um, but it's sea otters and they're so adorable. And then last and not least, I got this really pretty one. Look at it. Oh, I didn't think to get thread to match this. Hopefully I have something. I recently, the other day, I like had a shift in my brain where instead of being like, you've got like 11 masks, you don't need more masks. I'm like, listen, YOLO, just make as many masks as you want. So that's where we're at. Anyways, I was going to finish those scrunchies, but I think first I'm gonna embroider for a little bit. I learned that if you keep the hoop on something, you get hoop burn. So like here you can see where the hoop was. So I'm just trying to keep it off of it when I'm not working on it. And that is all the sneak peek you get. Anyways, I'm going to put on the crown. I've figured it out why I was like so unproductive was because I was not enjoying watching Supernatural because once I start watching The Crown, I just like dug in and just went hard on the sewing and even embroidering. So maybe I won't finish watching Supernatural even though I said I'm gonna try really hard, we'll see. Anyways, I'm gonna get into this stuff 
clear off my desk so I can embroider and I will check in with you in a bit. I am like the worst at vlogging today, honestly, like it's seven o'clock and I think I've picked up the camera twice today. <laughs> it's fine. Um, but basically I've just been sitting here embroidering. I finished the crown and I'm sad that I have to wait another year for the next season. It's fine. But yeah, I've just been embroidering this bag. Oh, can't see what it is. Um, cause it's a gift. So it's not even fun cause I can't share it, but it's going well. I would say I'm 75% done the main design on it and then I just have like embellishment kind of things like for example with this dude how I've got the chain going around him so like almost done this part but still have the this part to do but it's coming along really well and I really like it and I'm pretty sure that the person will love it <laughs> anyway I'm gonna go now and I am going to switch to sewing those scrunchies Partially because I'm like kind of overworking on this, but also because I should just finish those scrunchies. And um, then I might continue doing sewing things. I'm not sure. I got a call from my boss at work and he was like, hey, do you mind working a full shift tomorrow? So I have to work from like 8 until at least 3.30, I would suspect. So that's fun, but you know whatever it's just like it's nice because like the last two pay periods I barely worked <laughs> but now this one I'm just doing all the work and so and like I work tomorrow Friday Saturday Sunday so it's like it's one extreme or the other basically is what it is but yeah I'm gonna switch focus now even though I want to keep working on that but I have other things I need to do so I'm gonna switch focus and <sighs> maybe watch Supernatural but mm. Alrighty, so it has been quite some time. It's just after 10 now. All the scrunchies are done. I have packed up the scrunchies that my friend ordered. So that entire order is done and off my books. I have, I don't really have anything ordered, but Bubs was like, hey, I see that fabric. <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> um, and I don't like, I need to inventory these ones and also these ones. <laughs> um, and so at the moment, like, I don't really have any smart place to put them. I, th I guess what I'll do is I'll just combine those ones with this one in this flat and put it over there and maybe put on my list for tomorrow as something to do. Although I do have to work, like, all day and then I have to invoice. Also, I'm just lazy, but <laughs> that's besides the point. I also like saying, like, put it on the list. I have not even set up my agenda for this week and tomorrow is Wednesday. Like, no, tomorrow is Thursday. Something tells me it's not going to happen this week. <sighs> Anyway, progress on the embroidery project. We're doing well, I would say. The design is pretty much completely done. There's just a few little areas that I want to pick up and um, just make it look a little cleaner. And then I start at the outer part, <laughs> as discussed. So yeah, that's good. And then my other embroidery piece I've kind of put on hold, so maybe at some point I should work on that. It's just, it's French knots, and I hate French knots. Um, but yeah, so I think I'll organize these and then slowly kind of start to get ready for bed because that is probably a thing I should do. I did just make myself a massive glass of chocolate milk, though. Love this. <laughs> um, so we'll consume that. We'll do some organizing and then, like I said, hopefully get to sleep relatively quickly here but I think it'll be a struggle because lately I have just been staying up the latest. I'm doing that thing at the end of the night where I am too lazy to pack my bag because I'd have to get it down and so instead I just put the stuff that needs to go in the bag on my desk. I mean that's gonna come to my phone and in, into my phone into my bed with me and these I'm gonna eat before I go to sleep. Yeah cheese strings but like honestly this over here that tote has mostly fabric in it and then clothes piled on top. There's clothes over there. It was just a mess. The fabric is getting out of control because yes, there is fabric on my desk as well. I probably have room to put the fabric in totes. I just have not taken the time. I'm not gonna say I don't have the time because I definitely probably have the time. I just haven't taken the time. I need to probably fold my clothes tomorrow that I cleaned like two days ago <laughs> that are taking up space in my hamper where I could be putting the dirty stuff. And if I did that, like I think it'd be pretty good, but we'll see. Anyways, I'm bringing three masks to work tomorrow because you know, if they like get wet, you're supposed to change them. Um, so just in case, cause there's gonna be a lot of people in and out of the theater. So normally I don't have to wear my mask all the time cause I just don't come in contact with people sometimes for like multiple hours, but 
tomorrow I don't think that'll be the case, but I'm obviously showing my displeasure for it because I will be rocking my Grinch mask at some point. <laughs> so fun. I've just decided, I, yeah, no, I mentioned this, that I'm just going to make myself like a million masks because that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I have some of the fabric already pre-washed that I want to make masks out of, but I'm like, you know what? Nobody's ordering Christmas masks. I'm just gonna make myself Christmas masks. Oh yeah, there's so there is so much fabric in this room. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I haven't done anything since I last picked up the camera. I don't think. I may have hung my embroidery project up over there, but that is it, which is kind of terrible. I wasted so much time just scrolling on um my phone that I could have probably been doing something but you know what it's okay to just not do something I just meh. I don't know anyway I am going to what am I gonna do I'm gonna shove the stuff a little bit eat my cheese and then go to sleep <laughs> so with that I'm going to say thanks for coming along on today's adventure and I'll see you tomorrow it'll be interesting because I'm working for like most of the day anyways when we do pretty similar things <laughs> okay